Hi everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today I wanna to talk about blushes. I really like when I have the opportunity to sort of work several products into one video and do it kind of comparison style because normally that's the kind of question I get, which is better, like this or this? And a lot of times, especially this time of year, a lot of new products of similar kinds are coming out at the same time, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about several new blush things that I've been trying. First off, we've got the Physicians formula butter blushes and then a couple of different blush palettes one is from Maybelline and it's the master blush color and highlight kit and then I also have the NYX sweet cheeks blush palette so I'm gonna give you my take on all of these different items today I'm gonna start off with the physicians formula butter blushes um, I have enjoyed the butter bronzer by the way which is the first butter type product that they came out with and it's a very subtle bronzer but I mean for kind of that all over the face healthy glow it can look good it may not be the type of thing that suits every single skin tone you know but I was very intrigued when I saw that they were coming out with blushes in that similar texture that I think looks very natural on the skin not at all powdery and so I ordered both of the shades that this product comes in off of Ulta's website and just a comparison size wise here's the bronzer blushes are a little bit smaller and they were I believe like $12.99 each so two different shades here one is natural glow and that looks like this and then we've got plum rose which is another pretty subtle looking shade here as you can see they're super soft colors like I can't even see how they're calling this one a blush this natural glow it's basically like a highlight to me and even in that capacity it's extremely extremely soft on the skin like I remember the first day I tried applying this as blush and it just like it was doing nothing for me I had to layer some of this over the top and that helped a little bit this plum rose shade is kind of one of those sneaky blush colors I think I've talked about products like this before where they really don't look like much in the pan but they do show up for whatever reason a little bit better on the cheeks and this is definitely one of those products it doesn't swatch that great I mean you can barely identify it I feel like in my swatch but it does give you this little bit of subtle unexpected rosiness on the cheeks like just a hint of a mauve rose Rose glow. I was wearing this one and this one alone in um, a previous video as well. So I'll show you, you know, what that looks like. And it's just, it's not a bad blush, but it's really, really subtle. And I think $12.99 is really pushing it for, you know, one drugstore blush. So these are products I don't feel like I can wholeheartedly get behind and recommend to you because first off, like I said, the one called Natural Glow really does not come off like a blush at all. And it's still kind of barely there, even if you think of this as a highlight and then the other one like I said there there are so many blushes on the market you know that can give you a more pronounced look than this and yes these are cute and yes they smell like some sort of tropical cocktail but I mean once you get past the cuteness and the scent and the packaging and everything there's really not a lot going on here in terms of them being great blushes so yeah those were kind of a disappointment to me I wish they had some more intensity sweet cheeks palette from NYX this is kind of another thing that I feel like you know it's good it's definitely for the blush lover out there because it's nothing but blush in this palette you're not getting like a, a variety of highlights and then some contour shades there's a gold shade in here that maybe some people might work in in more of a highlighter capacity but really all in all this is a blush palette and from Ulta this one cost me I believe it was $19.99 so you're getting eight shades in here you are getting a variety of finishes the three shades right here in the top row do have some shimmer. I would say, you know, this shade is quite shimmery and some people might work that in as like a peachy highlight. Same story with the gold, you know, that has quite a bit of sheen to it. This is more like just a natural, like neutral rosy shade with a little bit of glow. But everything else from this orange down to these cool pinks, plum, and sort of a corally shade right down here, those are all matte. And what I have to compare these two in terms of NYX products would be their HD blushes. I have quite a few of those singles and at a glance here I thought maybe these are just the HD blushes put into a palette. But I don't own all of them. I have like seven or eight and none of them seem to be exactly the shades that are in here. Also they feel like a different texture. Those NYX HD blushes feel a little bit softer to the touch, a little bit more creamy. Um, for those of us who describe certain powders as feeling 
creamy. It's like when I think of powders like that, there's a little bit of thickness to them almost. They don't feel like they just instantly dust away between your fingers. These powders are a little bit more thin and powdery, and it's not that they're not pigmented because they do show up and they do have pigment, but they're just not quite as rich feeling as the single HD blushes. In terms of color variety, I think they've really got you covered all over the board, you know, with the orange, something a little more neutral, peachy, and then these really cool pinks, a deep plum, lots of variety here. Like I said, it's a blush lover's palette. I don't think every single person is going to feel the need for a palette of eight different blushes. And at nearly $20, I would think you'd probably want to be getting a lot of good out of every part of it, you know? For me, I feel like pretty much any shade in this palette is fair game to for me to want to use. The gold, not quite so much, just because, you know, it really is a gold, and I don't see that as really brightening my skin tone to wear it as a highlight. But, you know, you could pop some of these shades on even as eyeshadows if you wanted to. So I'm not really knocking this product all around. I mean, I just think there's a certain audience out there for it. There's a certain group of people who would appreciate having a full palette of blushes. But if you're accustomed to the texture and feel of the HD blushes, I think you're going to find these to not be quite as rich as those. They're still pigmented, but like I have an orangey shade that's in the HD blush format, and I was just comparing that one to this orange, and it, this one didn't quite hold a candle to that one in terms of intensity even though this is still fairly intense. So think about your own expectations, what you look for in a blush, um, if you feel the need to have a blush palette, but this is really good in terms of variety, what they've packed in from finishes to colors. There's a lot of different things happening in here. But my personal pick of this video would have to be this Maybelline Master Blush Palette, and this surprises me so very much because I have never really been a fan of Maybelline powder blush products. Like their Fit Me blushes, I thought those were not intense enough at all. And when they were, I think, being called the Expert Wear blushes before that, you know, there just weren't a lot of things I enjoyed. They make great cream blushes. I've enjoyed their cream blush sticks and the Dream Bouncy blushes, but I was not expecting greatness out of this palette. But I must say, I really enjoy it. And I like it kind of over the NYX because I feel like it incorporates three distinctly different blush shades, so I still do get variety. You're getting something kind of peachy pink, a cool pink, a plum, but you also get a highlight, and I think that does help the versatility quite a bit, and I like that all three of these are, for the most part, matte. Uh, for whatever reason, I feel like there's a little bit of a satin finish coming off of that plum. I don't notice it a lot on the skin, but just in a concentrated swatch, I can see it. But all around, I feel like it's three matte blushes and a glowy highlight, and I actually really like the highlight, too. I didn't think I was going to like it after I swatched it. I thought, is that like a little dry or is it a little chalky? But honestly, on the skin, I love the look. So that has not disappointed me at all. I've worn all the shades. And today for the demo in this video, I wanted to show you the shades going on because they're just, they surprise me so much. They're really pigmented blushes. So I use this lightest kind of peachy color just right there on the apple of my cheeks. Love the glow that that shade gives. And then um, I brought in some of the plum just just a little bit lower on the cheek, you know, it gives me a little bit of uh, added definition, not wearing it like a full-on contour, but just giving my blush look a little bit of dimension there. And then I brought in my highlight brush, my up and up highlight brush, and I go into the highlight and just lay that down right on top of the cheeks or anywhere on the face where you want a little added glow. And I could see that shade really brightening up a lot of skin tones, from very fair to um, even deeper, richer skin tones. Major, major surprise. Biggest surprise of the video. I thought I was going to like the butter blushes a lot more. I kind of thought that Sweet Cheeks palette was going to fully knock my socks off, but for me, I mean, I feel like this is enough color variety. It's about half the price of the Sweet Cheeks palette. Depending on where you purchase it, it might be 10 to $12, this Maybelline palette. But I really value the fact that there's a highlight in there as well, and and it's really, you know, distinct blush tones that would suit pretty much any look I would wear. So if you were considering any of these products, I hope this video helped you out. I love being able to share with you guys, especially when, you know, the outcome of whatever review I'm giving is kind of surprising to me. I really think that that's valuable information to pass along. So let me know if you've tried any of these products, or are there more blushes that I've been missing out on that you think I should check out that have come out recently? Let me know, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!